Good morning, everyone. Fritz joined really quickly. Welcome to the stream. Black shirt, I kind of like that too. I think I'm still wearing my dark shirt. My dark green shirt. <coughs> I'll have to ask VRF if this is uh, his mom's plane. Actually, I think his mom's plane is black. Okay. I remember we were saving money to buy more fields. I think this is a... Uh, contract we were doing, if I remember correctly. <coughs> Fritz and Farmer Joe are now here. Well, Farmer Joe will be here shortly. There we go. Kenworth for life, how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm good. I think I've got slight bronchial infection maybe or what's that <coughs> put that pipe out yeah. so Fritz uh, you've been playing the game a lot this week I had to drop off my truck at the shop again this weekend just for a servicing. And I asked them to do two things at the same time they were servicing it. Fix up my reverse, one of my reverse uh, working lights, headlights, reverse lights. Just the reverse high beam light. One of them's out. I've got four of them, so one of them out isn't a big deal. I asked if they could fix that one. And also, I've got two very, very minor air leaks on the trailer. Asked them to fix those two. Yeah, Kenworth, we do have help, but we could always use more help. Farmer Joe has no helper on her farm. And honestly, I'd be doing something else if there was another helper to combine. You played the game a lot this week. <laughs> Don't blame ya. I had time to play more, I would be playing more as well.
Fritz, I'll stop at the end over here if you want to just come right beside me. It might fill up the uh, trailer. If the leg doesn't kill you. Harvesting wheat, wheat. Where's the best price for wheat? <coughs> Looks like at the bakery. <coughs> Your steering wheel works. Okay. Um, the trailer's full, so if you want to deliver that to the bakery. bakery is on the very bottom right hand corner of the map. Fritz, you got a steering wheel. I used to have a steering wheel a long time ago. I never used it so I gave it away. Now that I have this game, I could use a steering wheel again. Kenworth says you don't like the animals in FS19 at all? In FS19 or in Farming Simulator in general? Um, I honestly don't do animals a lot. I enjoy the field crops a lot more as well. Um, Do you not like the animals because you don't like taking care of animals or because there's so something that makes it game related? Is it game related or just in general you prefer not to ha do animals? Too much upkeep? Yeah, the animals are a lot of work. Just like in real life, called Farming Simulator. But yeah, um, I. that's why I've, Farmer Joe runs the animal farm and I uh, run the crop fields. Farmer Joe is not being ignored. She's trying to defend the animals. Oops. Yeah, you ha she's saying she's doing more than just livestock. She's got to do fields and mowing grass and tethering and for the animals but I don't think that's Kenworth's issue with animals it's how much time you have to clean up after the animals and man that green marker sure stays you can see it from far away let's turn it off that was the Okay, so we'll just leave this combine here. Wait for Fritz to come back. I'm gonna do a little bit of plowing. Oop, turn create field on. This is Farmer Joe's yard. And I'm just plowing all the grass so that she can plant grass again. But she wants all the weeds and brushes and all that stuff gone. <coughs> that way she can use this as pasture or grasslands to make bales and 
pay and stuff like that. I should get a pressure washer. Clean these tractors, shouldn't we? That is something I should buy. Probably have the money for it. <clears throat> okay, Fritz is almost to the bottom. Keep an eye on where he is so that when he comes back I can grab another contract and do something else. Having dirty equipment is unacceptable, huh? I could totally afford, or not afford, I could totally have a bigger plow with this tractor. Because this is a 300 horse tractor. Could have one, one bigger plow than this one. But it's expensive plow and we don't have the money for it. We'll put up with this plow until we have another field. And then maybe we'll upgrade some equipment. Fritz doing? Oh, he's at the bakery right now. Cool. VRF is eating. He said he would join after he's done eating. You know, food. It's a good thing to have. Almost as important as farming? VRF is now in the YouTube channel. <coughs> and VRF, for the record, eating food is almost as important as farming. Okay, Fritz sold it. That was over six grand. Nice. Very nice. How is that almost or over six grand? Oh! The... the Mission's got to be complete. Well, we'll take the rest of the grain that is in the combine and sell that as well. Let's take a look. So the rest of the... Yeah, we'll sell at the bakery as well. It says active, though. How did I get money, though? not complete. Well, I hope that doesn't screw up the mission. Oh, maybe we just screwed up the mission. 
Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. Well, we screwed up the mission. I, I see what I did wrong. Um, we're not supposed to sell at the bakery. We're supposed to sell it somewhere else. We screwed up the mission. All good, Fritz. That is my bad. If you can just take the rest of the grain and sell it at the bakery as well, at least we'll make the best out of it. No, it doesn't tell me we s failed it. It just says we just got money, and I was confused why we got money. And honestly, we got six grand for that. The actual, um, the actual um, contract, you only get like one point some grand. So we actually are going to make more money by um, cheating this farmer out of his crop. We're totally cheating this farmer out of his crop. I would have gotten two grand for this and selling the wheat has made more money than that already. We are definitely cheating this farmer big time. So failing making a mistake and failing the contract actually gets us more money. Uh, VRF, Gnantal? Awesome, absolutely awesome. Love the map. Love the map. Here I'll show you people's some screenshots. If I remember how to get there. VRF sent me today. So we're starting. Starting to get one corner of the map made, a couple of fields, two fields out there, maybe three fields. Little roads in between. Housing. And further up there's some. Starting to get there. Starting to get there. I'm very excited about this here having garbage laying around, making it lived in, but it's all movable. So if we decide we want to use that field for something, we can get a front end loader and pick all that stuff up and get rid of it. So very excited about that map. Apparently we're synchronizing with someone. Hollow Mind. Oh, Hollow Mind and VRF. And Kenworth, for Kenworth's first comment about uh, Granthal is he likes how the center lines are yellow. Yes, VRF actually did that right. That's not true, James. James says that's unrealistic amount of trees for Gnantel. Um the, the shot you saw there is the intersection from Highway 201 and uh, Southern Farms looking north. Um, there are no stop lines because we don't have stop lines. There, there were just stop stop signs in Manitoba out in the country. No stop lines. Okay, who's got who's it? Where is everybody? Fritz is down here. Oh, Fritz is right by me somewhere. Right there. Uh, Fritz, head for field 11. Get the rest of that wheat. And then sell it at the bakery again. And then once you've sold that grain, I will start a new contract. Um, 
I don't know where everybody else is. I see Farmer Joe and Hollow Mind are green and VRF are green. Okay. Fritz is now headed up to field 11, and that way I can start a new You guys are busy on your farm. That's why I'm assisting with my tractor and my plow, because you guys don't have a plow yet. I don't like this little part of the map here. I can't plow that road. A little obnoxious. It's a bug, and there's a cell point there that makes it impossible to place anything over here as well. It's weird. Fritz has run into you guys. And right now I only own field 5. So, got to make some money. Oh, was Fritz talking to you? Oh. Yeah, sorry if I miss some messages here or there, because there's a lot of conversations going on all of a sudden. Field 1 has nothing in it. Let me take a look. Make sure it's not a leg issue. Field 1 is empty. Field 1 needs to be seeded. So does this grass up here on the front yard. Part of, one, one, one of the front yard fields can be seeded with grass as well. <coughs> Seed field 1 first. That way you can make money off that crop. Yep. And you only have two tractors, right? Yeah. And I only have two tractors. So, okay, I have an idea. If there's two, if there's not enough to do on Farmer Joe's yard, why don't one of you guys start a contract? Oh, there's a lot to do, just not enough equipment. If there's not enough equipment to do stuff, one of you guys start a contract. Or Farmer Joe start a contract and then people can jump into that. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at look at maps again. Oh, Fritz is coming back already. A uh, hollow mind is on no one's farm. Okay. Hmm? Um. Huh? Okay, Jess says uh, hollow 
if if you join her farm, she'll give you contractor rights, and then you can do a harvest contract if you want because she's not using her harvester and the same is true for my farm too but she wants the money <laughs> okay. where are you crashed are you stuck? Oh yes, I see. Okay, let me see if we can fix that without losing the grain. I am good. Just for the record, I am good. Not bragging or anything. <laughs> there you go. All fixed. The lag is strong with this one. Um, are you guys experiencing more lag? Because there's so many players on here? Well, not a lot, but there's like five of us now. Okay. One fifty, one seventy. Ouch. <laughs> that is not cool. Oh, so Fritz is done with. Oh, but I don't want to end the quest or the, the contract until you sell. Can we have sugar beets? Um, like you want to harvest sugar beets? Is there a contract to sh sugar beets? Let's see if there is a contract out there for sugar beets. If you want to do sugar beets, No contract out there for sugar beets right now. Hmm? There's a field thirty. Oh yeah, field thirty harvesting. So hit the borrow the items don't don't accept contract hit borrow items cuz it's much cheaper cuz you're borrowing the farmers you're borrowing the farmers equipment and not leasing it field 30 is up there it's a big field it'll take a while to finish that yeah i had a little bit of lag there that's that's my fault for jumping in and out of menus all oh, right. Hollow borrowed all the equipment. That's what that was. Okay, so I gotta keep an eye on Fritz. Okay, he's almost to the bakery. So as soon as he's sold it, I'll start a new contract on our farm as well. So if you activate a contract, that you're only allowed one active contract per farm. So if you activate a contract, everybody on that farm can work with that contract. Um, VRF said something earlier. Uh, equipment is at the shop in the center of the map on the right-hand side. You should be able to tab into it.
Do you have a place to store the hay? Or the gra grass? Oh no, it's hay. <clears throat> oh, if you can afford a storage barn for the hay. Got it. Cannot afford to buy it, then I'd say sell it till you can afford it. No, let's not do the dump anywhere, make piles of stuff, because there's enough leg as there is. Oh, there we go. Fritz has sold that. Okay. We will cancel that contract. Yes. I'm assuming uh, Hauler got what he needed. Field 2. Sure, let's do field two. Oops, that's how. Uh, why is there a tree in the middle of the road? Because somebody needs to take that tree and sell it. There were all the small little trees on the fields that were still left that were hidden trees that they didn't realize they were trees. So Fritz, I am headed to field two, kind of right in the center of the map. I'll run the combine unless somebody else joins the farm. <laughs> And then I'll go back to plowing. So, is it cheating? If I harvest field two and just keep selling it instead of doing the contract? Instead of doing the contract on field two, which I'll get a little over five grand for, is it cheating by just taking the whole field and start selling everything on it? At, at delivering it to the wrong place? Why is that a bad habit to get into? I am cheating that poor farmer, yes. <laughs> I am stealing grain. Uh, I stole grain from the one farmer accidentally. on here? Oh. Oops. Oh. Got it. VR says, only Kenworth is missing. Hey, yeah, Kenworth, why are you missing? Come on, join. Someone's got to run this combine so I can plow. Why is Fritz laughing so hard? What joke did I miss? I see Fritz coming down there, coming up this way. That's not Fritz. No, that's not Fritz. That was VRF that I was seeing down there with the loading wagon. And Kenworth says he'll be right here. P 
peer pressure works. <clears throat> and there's Kenworth joining server. That's six players. started reading the message. For some reason it disappeared on my screen. <laughs> Just the screen, it's still there. No, now it disappeared on her screen. Darn it, I can't read the message. Mm. Oh, I'm like, why, why are my controls not working? So we won't steal from the farmer, because apparently that's cheating. It would be like cheating money, wouldn't it? It's a bug in the game that shouldn't be allowed to be. And Kenworth is in. Oh, I should jump out of this combine. Oh, I see Kenworth running across the yard there, I think. Someone is running across that yard at an incredible speed, anyway. There we go, Kenworth. <laughs> VRF, you're going to start joining with multiple accounts. You'd have to buy the game on multiple accounts then. Where's Fritz? Hey Fritz, you drove by field two and VRF is honking at me. Okay. Let's do something here. I can't see through the chat. Hey, um, VRF, how do you fly again? Shift something? Ah, oh, you have to hit J and then... Let's get a good viewpoint of this. There we go. Got Fritz down here, Kenworth in the combine, VRF collecting with a forage wagon there, Farmer Joe seeding, and then where is Hollow? Probably far away. That should be a thumbnail. I've stopped doing thumbnails. Where is Hollow? Keep going. There, I see Beet Harvester back there, moving. Okay. Can I? I can still see some of you guys over here. Okay, VRF has got the answer in there. How do you fly? You turn on developer mode, you can turn off the HUD and stuff like that. 
Kenworth needs a trailer. Uh, Fritz has got the trailer. Fritz, Kenworth needs the trailer. Or doesn't need the trailer. Kenworth needs to empty his combine. Flying is very slow. All it does is increase your altitude. You're still walking around normal speed. Um, but it's developer mode, and there's a lot of stuff in the developer mode. That's I'm not really into all that, but I like hiding the HUD if I need to, or uh, like right there, HUD's gone. No, no info, info at all, just the game. Great for screenshots and stuff like that. And of course you could cheat in money and stuff like that too in that developer mode. And do some interesting stuff like this, which is really, really helpful when uh, you can't find a stump in the ground. Just shows all the polygons of the map and not painted surfaces. Yeah, you can switch time of day. You can do anything. It's called developer mode because you can do anything. It's really helpful when you're doing beta testing if you want something, a certain something to happen. You can just go make it happen and then test it out. So Fritz, that trailer goes, we have to bring it to the transport company whenever if that's full. Um, the best thing would be Fritz to drop that load off at the railroad silo um, west. If you drop it to the railroad silo west. Because we can't drive to the transport company, we have to transport all that grain Via, via railroad. I mean, you can get up there with tractor, but chances of rolling that thing over really high. So, and hollow. I guess the same for you. Your stuff goes to the transport company, so you're gonna have to drop it into railroad silo east. I guess it doesn't matter, east or west, uh, Fritz, but I think west is closer for you. Yeah, yeah, that's something that the, your your place names are different than my place names because of your language difference, yeah. Either way, bring it to a silo along the railroad. I think there's three of them. And once you guys drop some stuff in there, let me know. I'll catch the train. I've never done that yet, so that'd be cool to do. So as soon as there's something dropped off in a silo, I'll 
give it a test. Looks like Fritz is almost there. VRF is close to the silo. Oh, here are some... Oh, okay, I got what you're doing. You saw some barrels in this map, and you want to put some barrels in your Gnantal map. Got it. Hey, for once, I was able to understand what you were saying before Farmer Joe knew what you were saying. We don't know if we would like what? Yeah, I'm confused. Okay, so I am going to try to catch a train. Fritz is right there. Come on. I know, I just want to test it. No, I don't want to buy anything. I just want to go where Fritz is. There he goes, he's dropping. I guess dumping into there. Weird how the trigger points over there. Okay, um, and then you can load back from the train. Oh, did I turn my HUD off? Why, why is Fritz's name not showing up? I do something that turns it off? Weird. Weird. Anyway, I'm going to try to catch a train. And uh, you can't tab into it in multiplayer, I don't think, anyway. Sneeze. Yeah, <clears throat> I think I got to the mute button fast enough. <clears throat> so, you can't actually tab into it. You have to actually catch the train along the rail at full speed. And if I jump in the train and stop the train, you won't be able to just stand by the rails and wait to catch it. You'll have to actually know where it is. Because <coughs> it'll just sit there for a, quite some time before it starts running on its own again. In single player, you can tab into it. <coughs> hmm. Don't see the train. Just watch it just barely passed. <coughs> <coughs> hey, Fritz, Kenworth needs your help. The trailer again. Oh, got it. You're on it. Oh, here comes the train. Okay. Stand in the bushes here. We'll hijack the train. Whew. Got it. Never done this, and I know we don't need to do it right now, but I just want to test it out. <clears throat> What's that? Yeah, it takes a long time to slow this thing down, so I've been hitting the brake since the corner. Trains take a while to slow down. I 
gotta zoom in, I gotta honk the horn. That's a quiet horn. But that should be a lot louder. Okay, so how do I fill this? VRF, what are you doing? What happened to the keep it realistic rule, huh? You deserve being on this side. Hopefully you just didn't waste uh, Farmer Joe's grass or hay. I'll get out of the way. Okay, he's got the tractor back. Let's see if you can get the trailer back. <coughs> there you go. Now let me try to fill up with grain. Okay, how do I fill this? Grain? Does I have to go on back trailer? Oh, I have to open a cover. Oh, I can put it in that one over there. Okay. See, that one says start fill. I can put it in the open top one. <coughs> Let's go back up again. Oh, so the cover actually you have to open it like that and then fill it. Okay. So we got a little bit of barley. Oh, you're coming over here? Fritz is headed this way. Okay, I'll just wait a bit. Oh yeah, so in in the menu you can see how much you have stored at the silo. So if you go here, uh, silo is other and silo is owned. So it's all zero now because I emptied it. So we'll wait till Fritz fills it up. <coughs> so oh, so you're almost full. Oh, okay, so you can get a lot more in there. A lot more, okay. Where's Fritz? Start overloading? Huh, I guess that means unloading. <clears throat> so, so now as Fritz is dumping it in there, you can see my number here getting bigger. Other silos. There we go, he put in 6,340. So, let's fill up that into the train again. Is like nothing. The train can hold a lot. So. <clears throat> Should close that cover.
guess I should be in my brakes already. Though this is uphill. Should slow it, yeah, it slows down quite fast going uphill by itself. I will overload my barley. I think that's an error in the game. It should be unload. Start unloading barley. There we go. What? How'd I make an income on that? I'm confused. Am I stealing from the farmer again? To the, I'm delivering to the wrong place again. Ah, unbelievable. I'm delivering to the wrong place again. Sorry guys, I'm stealing from this farmer too. I'll try not to make a habit of stealing from farmers. It's not a good reputation to have. But I'll have failed that mission now, or that contract anyway, so might as well steal the rest of his field. Uh, yeah. I thought I was delivering to the right place. Eh, we'll keep doing it. I, I hijack a train and steal from a farmer. That is what I'm doing. Uh, Fritz, stop dropping it off in the train. Um, at the train silo. Sell the rest at the bakery. If we're going to steal from the farmer, I might as well steal from the farmer. <clears throat> Robin Hood. Farm, uh, farm Robin Hood, <laughs> Robin Hood farm. Mm. There, I shut the train down over here. Hollow, if y'all also want it, it's here. So if if anyone wants it, so currently it's parked near railroad silo east, and it will eventually move. And it might be on the if it's not on railroad silo east or just north of railroad silo east, then it's uh, flying on the highway and you have to hijack it yourself. Or on the not on the highway. Oh boy, I do need sleep. VRF did ask how my week was, and I said short nights and a heck of a snowstorm slash rainstorm yesterday. I think it's showing. I think it's showing. <laughs> oh yeah, oh boy. It was not a boring drive to Vancouver. Not a boring drive to Vancouver at all. We had three incidents happen from Manning Park to Hope. Short little section, very heavy rain. The higher mountain passes had very heavy snow, but in that section we had very heavy rain. So incident number three, I'll go backwards, was as we got into Hope, all of a sudden there's all these yellow flashing lights on the road, so I slowed down. And... Uh, <laughs> uh, Fritz is awesome. Uh, radio announcer telling about my criminal criminal affairs. Um, but yeah, coming hope. 
Some truck had lost a full pallet of freight and it was sitting upright in the middle of the highway. Just a pallet of merchandise. So, before the flashing lights had been there, there must have been people swerving out of the way. Trying to avoid a pallet in the middle of the highway. Someone didn't do any kind of load secure. So that was number three. Number two was, I saw flashing lights in front of me, four lane section, so I pulled into the hammer lane, the passing lane, the faster lane, the overtaking lane, whatever you guys might call it in your part of the world. And smash, I hit a rock so hard, it was a big rock, bigger than a softball. Luckily it was a round rock, like a big beach rock from many, many, many a year ago when, the, when there used to be a lake there. Big rock slide and there were rocks everywhere. I dodged all but one, but man did that jerk the steering wheel. I'm like, whoa, whoa, control, control, keep driving. <laughs> because it was a round rock, I didn't blow it a tire. If that had been a sharp rock, which it very well could have been, because most of the rock slides are sharp rocks, I would have probably had a flat tire. But the exciting one was the first incident. I saw cars oncoming flashing their headlights, so I slowed right down. This is downhill, four lane. We normally fly down this at 100 kilometers per hour. But I was full weight, so I started slowing down. I think I was around probably down to 70, 60 or 70 kilometers an hour, more likely 70. And I come around the corner and I just see this faint little light waving in my lane. I'm like, what the heck is this? And I went once they again into the hammer lane. And I didn't hit rocks and stuff, but I hit debris. Holy smokes. I was hitting plastic and all of a sudden tools and then a big uh, um, cooler and then, then there's bumpers and like as I come zipping past a completely blacked out car in the middle of the lane and if I had not pulled over and seen that little white cell phone light flashing I would have slammed into this black car in the lane. It was just because it was raining hard couldn't see a thing and it's just like what the... so I pulled over right away and stopped. I have these emergency um, beacons they're like elect electric flares. They're called FRED lights. F-R-E-D F-R-E-D lights. And they're basically very bright LED safety beacons. So I grabbed those out of my truck and ran to the car. And I'm like, is everybody okay? And they said, yep, okay. Ignored them and kept running and started putting these lights up on the road. And that kept people from slamming in there. And I, I, I w walked way down the highway. My first light was around the corner so people could see that, hey, something coming up ahead that's flashing lights to keep these people from getting hit again. And stupid move that they made, if you are ever in an accident and there's low visibility, get out of the car get into the ditch. I don't care how much snow there is. There was a lot of snow in the ditch. Get into the ditch. It's the safest place for you. But they had their 14 year old daughter still sitting in their car. I'm like, get out. Get out of the car. Because if I had not seen that little faint little light, you might be dead now. I'm trying to see what other field you want plowed. Oh, up over here? Okay, I think I got it. Okay. Um, bakery again, where you sold the first one, where we stole from the first farmer. Sell it to bakery because, it, well, Fritz, the easiest way to know where I want it sold is go into the menu and click the prices tab, that graph one, and look where the highest value is for whatever crop you have. So barley, oh cool, it organizes it by 
You can organize it by highest price by clicking on here. I didn't know that. Okay, so click on there, see a highest price, double click bakery, and then on the map, if you look, you will have a bright green beacon shining in the background somewhere, and also on the little map, there'll be a flashing black dot where you want to sell it. So, no, the green dot is where they want me to sell stuff or it's part of the quest. Bakery is the black dot. So, uh, so yeah, that was exciting. Um, apparently, well first off, that car came flying past me a little earlier at quite a high speed. They were not they were not driving very cautiously. But before that car passed me, a big rig passed me at a very fast pace too. Big rig was a US loaded one, so he was pretty darn light, Super B trailer. And he was he passed me well over 10 kilometers over speed. Because I was going speed limit and he passed me quite fast. And then uh, I guess as they came to that section where the four lane, the car caught up to that semi where there was only two lane. When they got to that four lane pa section, this uh, car decided to pass that other fast semi and with a heavy heavy rainstorm driving way too fast slammed into the other side of that other big rig so the car was going way way too fast for the conditions so farmer Joe how far do you want me to plow here just how far you cut grass leave the rest of the bushes Just turn here. And uh, yeah, he crashed into the side of that trailer and that trailer drove over the front of his hood and then that car kept bouncing off that trailer all the way along so it smashed every light in that car. There was one four-way flasher working in that car and that's why it was invisible to me. Farmer Joe says it looked like a pile of Lego pieces because there was debris spread so far. I've never seen debris from one vehicle spread apart so far. I'm going to make a guesstimate here. I'm just trying to think how far I walked. I'd say about 600 to 700 feet of debris. Once I had the lights up, I went back, checked on the people and they were indeed okay. His wife was very angry at him, yelling at him that you don't speed with a child in the car. So hopefully he learned his lesson. It could have been much worse. I could have killed them. Like, it was if I had not seen the other oncoming traffic flashing their lights, I would have likely killed them. I, I don't, I don't see how I would have avoided that, because it happened right in front of me. I was the first person to pull over after the accident. Another big rig pulled in right after me as well. There was a couple of us, and then another, several big rigs stopped and asked if they needed emergency help, and I just yelled at them, "Nope." They had already working on. Hey, there's a stump here. A little wedge and I know there's been lots of comments in the chat here and I don't know what everything you guys are chatting with each other or to me oh yeah beaming and uh, good crash physics and stuff like that yeah so yeah um, remember how I said I could you use a nice boring week well that wasn't that wasn't 
the last two days <laughs> was not boring. <laughs> was not boring. So I stayed there for about half an hour, and then the highway um, division showed up. The people that are in charge of clearing the snow and stuff like that, they showed up with one of their pickups. Hey, Hedgehog, how's it going? And then uh, um, they had flares. So he just set up all his flares down the, uh, not the center lane, but the, 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 the dotted line between the two lanes. And I'm like, um, I don't mean to intrude on your highway guy and everything, but if you set your flares up that way, you're going to guide everybody that's in the slow lane. They're going to stay in the slow lane and slam it back in this car. You're confusing people. So let's set up the flare like I have my lights and make this big V shape so it forces people out of the slow lane into the fast lane. And then while he was doing that, or before he was doing that, I was walking on the highway whenever I saw there was no cars coming and pulling the biggest debris off of the highway out of the hammer lane. A lot of tools like Allen wrenches sticking up that could have punctured tires. That's one of the first things I did after where I went and checked all my tires to make sure I didn't have a flat tire. Um, the truck driver that the car smashed into had one tiny little bit of damage and the damage all it was was a flat tire. The car was destroyed. The trailer had a flat tire. That's it. Couldn't see any scratches on it, nothing. Because the trailer drove over the hood and I think the way he hit, the front front trailer drove over the hood and the back trailer drove over his trunk. Because the car was destroyed all the way around. All of its airbags blown out. All the way around that car had damage. The cleanest, the cleanest part of the car was the passenger side, so he must have hydroplaned, fishtailed, and drove the front of the car underneath the front trailer, and then the car whipped around, the driver's side slammed into the trailer, and went kind of underneath the back trailer, and then the back trailer drove over the trunk. And the passenger side hadn't had any hit damage, but it had buckled. It was a hard hit. Hard, hard hit. So, if it had not been at night, I would have taken some pictures. But, it was, uh, it was exciting. It was exciting. But it was pouring rain, very dark. I don't think my pictures would have come out, any, out at all anyway, so. Uh, there was another semi-driver that loaded after me. And we came down that same highway two hours after me, so I asked him if the accident had been cleared up and everything. He said there was nothing there when he came, so that's good. Because I saw two tr tow trucks driving up while I was driving down, so. And the, the good part about the whole story is I did not rear end that car and kill anyone. Everybody was alive, and every, they, it looked like they had no injuries at all. The car, all the airbags blowing up. They'll, they'll be bruised and hurting, but um, no serious injuries, no blood anywhere. There might be some very sore necks and backs today and yesterday. This weekend there will be some very sore people. And the husband has probably learned a lesson or two because, boy, was she mad at him. All of her shock was going right toward him. <laughs> he... He not only crashed his car, he had a very, a very angry wife. Yeah, the car itself had the most of the injuries. The people didn't have the injuries. I think that was the nice part. The car was destroyed, the car took the impact, and the people didn't take the impact. Cars are, car, modern cars are built to be destroyed that way, to absorb all that energy. So, when I was a firefighter, we always had kind of had a little t rule if we come up to a scene and the car is destroyed most of the time the people were fine if we came up to a scene and the car looked perfectly fine all our red flags went off and go he just crashed the car looks fine how does the person look because the car did not take the impact 
Yeah, VRF, I used to be a firefighter back in Manitoba. And that's one of the big reasons I stop at every accident scene because I can assist medically any injuries. Like the one last time, what was it, two weeks ago that I crashed, the guy jackknifed where I hit the ditch. I came and helped him out. Another reason that I could tell the highway guy how to set up traffic control. I started bossing him around and I'm like, okay, maybe I should explain that I have a history of traffic control. And this is how we did it when we did traffic control. And he goes, I never thought of that before. I'm like, you're the highway division. You should know things like this. But they might not give them very good training. They're in charge of clearing snow. They often do traffic control, but I guess if you're not trained how to do it. Yeah, when I left the fire department, I did steal one thing. I stole my firefighter helmet. It's still here at home. Uh, my sister was in the same fire department. And she too did steal that same helmet. Fire department wasn't very happy about that, but once they understood our proposal, they were quite happy about it. We stole our helmets, but then we paid for brand new, state-of-the-art, modern helmets to replace our older, older helmets. <laughs> At least I didn't hijack the train. <laughs> I wanted to keep a memento of the fire department. It's like a helmet is a good thing to hold on to. And by taking it, I forced the fire department to get a new one. I gave them enough money to afford to buy the best helmet they could, right? That way it's a win-win. Oh, sorry, Hedgehog, I missed, uh, I missed the uh, uh, comment about you saying I'm plowing with a John Deere. Yes, I got a John Deere for once. Oh, there's a good reason I bought this John Deere. It's 300 horsepower. It can it's got enough horsepower to haul or to pull this plow here. This guy right here, this plow needs 300 horsepower, so it's just a matter of buying that plow. This is the one we're using is 2.5 meters. This one is 4.9 meters, so it's like what, almost double? We just don't have the money to buy that plow. Well, I was just gonna look how much it costs, but we might, might have the money. Fritz has been selling at the bakery, right? confused what am I planning to buy next I'm planning to buy a field let's take a look at I'm planning on buying field four that's a hundred and thirty one grand we're at twenty seven grand hang on is our field I'm just gonna no, I don't want to reset. I want to visit our farm, my little farm. Why am I stuck? I'm stuck. Apparently if you map to the gas tank, you're stuck. Really? That's the easiest way to get there. I guess I run. Actually, Lime Station. Nah, Lime Station is not really closer, is it? No. I run through a cornfield. I want to look at our field. Okay, got through the cornfield. What 
is this? Oh, this is sunflowers. Okay, got a sunflower field here. Field six. Oh yeah, our field is growing. Okay, so we could fertilize that field. Any weeds on it yet? No weeds. Okay, that's good. Um, need to fertilize this field. Okay. Fritz, where is Fritz? Oh, Fritz is right by Kenworth. Okay, got it. Right there. You were hiding underneath Kenworth's name. Fritz, I want to temporarily borrow that tractor. So if you could drop that trailer, I'll hook this John Deere to that trailer. And you can drive the John Deere. Because the John Deere cannot have narrow tires, and I need narrow tires. John Deere is way overpowered for doing a small job like this, but I need the Vultra. Hedgehog is back. Sorry, I didn't mean to ignore you, Hedgehog. There's just so much going on and I was in the middle of story time. Or I guess I just was ending story time as you showed up. BRF is going to be AFK. Sounds good. Okay. We need fertilizer. Is that fertilizer in there? That's fertilizer, right? Cool. This will be easy. Can't remember how wide it spreads again. Um, for you, it's toggle the map. Should be, uh, let me think, you got the Xbox controller. It'll be left shoulder and then left joystick in. Jo the joystick button. So left shoulder, left joystick. Oh, VR, or Farmer Joe is AFK as well. She's researching. Ah, Farmer Joe is researching if she should lime her grass fields or not. Will it increase the grass, the yield on a grass field? I certainly do not have the answer to that. Running narrow crop tires. I love that in FS19 now, you see that I... Uh, fertilize the neighbor field a little bit. If you zoom in, the dark blue there, let's turn the plowing off. Let's turn lime off. You can see that I have fertilized the neighboring field a little bit. So the overspray actually is overspray and you actually assist the neighboring field. remember what even what we planted on here. Oats. I think we planted oats. I think we had that conversation. I, mean, I can just jump out of the track and look. But. And VRF is back. Wrong button. Now I'm wasting fertilizer. Oh, a little more overlap there. There we go. 
overlap is wasting fertilizer too. Yeah, um, Hedgehog, you said I'm plowing. I'm actually not plowing my fields. I'm plowing Farmer Joe's fields. There's a header in the shop. Oh, header trailer. Uh, header trailer. That's probably meant for the beet harvester. That's probably part of that project or that contract. I don't think any of us has bought a header trailer. So yeah, part of a contract. You can probably move it out of the way if it's in the way. <clears throat> On a big open map like this, you don't really need the header trailers. But on uh, the small little closed European maps, you definitely need header trailers. And Fritz has taken a break, or going AFK. We've only been streaming an hour and a half. <laughs> I know it's funny we do things like that, right? GTG, hey, I gotta go. I'm like, you just said the same thing twice. Oh, the train is definitely running again. So if anyone wants a train, you will have to hijack it. Like, RIP in peace. Rest in peace in peace. Yeah, that, there's a lot of things that we say like that. It's like, did you forget what that means? Ah, no. Don't, no. Can't back up apparently. I can back up two trailers in real life, but I can't back up a single trailer in game. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, so somebody did go through all the crops, lime it, and see what the difference was? Lime fertilize and see what the difference is and see if the money is worth it. Oh, who's that in the background? I can't see. Your names don't show up anymore. I think I screwed something up within developer mode. It's just random people driving by now, no names popping up. But VRF says he's stealing my fuel, and it's a Massey Ferguson, so it's obviously Farmer Joe's farm, because she's got two Massey Fergusons. VRF is fueling up at my fuel station. Don't worry. Hey, you know what? That money should go to me. That'd be cool. That'd be actually really cool. Make the workshops and the fuel stations work for other players, but then the people that placed it get the money from it. That'd be really cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way, but that would be nice. Okay, so I'm done with this tractor. I'll head back to Kenworth and Fritzar. Yeah, 
if you made a fuel station, you had to actually tanker it in. You have to go to a main fuel station uh, and uh, bring it in. Oh, it looks like uh, Kenworth and VRF are, or Kenworth and Fritz are done here. Hey Fritz, could I get that tractor back? So Kenworth, we just have to wait for Fritz to sell that before starting a new contract. Gotta find my plow again. Well, how much do you have left in your, in the combine? Mm. You got 629 left, oh man, so close, so close. Uh. Actually, that's a good, that's a good time to try a little test here. So, Fritz, as soon as you sell that trailer, I'm going to finish the contract and see if that grain stays in that combine. That's a good time to do a test. Farmer Joe, I'm making really good progress on your fields. She doesn't have any plows. She doesn't have any money. Fair, I might as well help her out. The only harm it does to me is a little bit of gas and then wear and tear on the tractor. What have you decided? You will not lime grass. I think I, I would agree with that. that. That would be my initial instinct. That grass does not need lime. Yeah, I would. I would agree with that. I would just seed grass right, right after I'm done plowing and call it good. <coughs> yeah. I'm trying to remember how to increase and lower cruise control. The cedar is too small. Uh, so small? Yes. Three meters wide, I'm guessing. Uh, cruise control is button five and six, and then Y up and down. There we go. Increase cruise control. There we go. Number is going up. That's a little yellow number down there. Okay. Sorry, what did I miss? Uh, Fritz, are you going to stream tomorrow? Yes, I believe I will. Um, unless something comes up that I don't expect. I should be streaming tomorrow. I will go AFK a couple times during that stream because my Sunday streams, I usually do my laundry while doing the stream. Yes. Oh. You jumped into uh, the contract trailer and the trailer was full. Got it. Um, I'm going to try another experiment. Um, I'm going to see if I can pick up your... No, I wouldn't be able to. Oh, I am your contractor. So you do need to train now. Okay, I'm going to try that. 
I'm doing two experiments at once. Oh, so each silo you could go 200,000. Yeah. So 600,000 is all three silos together. Yeah, so we can only go 200,000. At each silo. Got it. Okay. So I got to catch a train. And there's Fritz. Oh, yeah, Fritz is almost to the bakery. Oh, there's the train track. Oh, there's the train! Awesome timing! <clears throat> Joint hijacked! Brakes! 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 Reverse! Hard and breaks. Oh, 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 wrong, wrong button. I'm speeding up in reverse. Okay. I cannot. Nope. So you guys have to do it. So it's all on you. I cannot. So that experiment says, uh, we know that now. I cannot run the train for someone else. Okay, so how is uh, Fritz doing? Fritz is there. Awesome. Oh, so you have to be in the train to keep filling. Okay, that's good to know. There's little log pieces everywhere on your field. You got little log pieces all over you have to clean up. Oh, I see my money going up, so Fritz is selling. So Kenworth. We're gonna There we go. Okay, he sold that, so I am going to fail this. Cancel. Yes. Fail. Okay, Kenworth, do you still have the grain in your combine? You still got it. Okay, so Fritz, you'll have to empty it. What what kind of grain are you guys? You guys have barley? What field do you want to harvest next? So we got a couple options, Kenworth. Uh, we could harvest field 22. That's barley. Uh, we could harvest field 21, wheat. 25, canola. That's it. So uh, 22. Let's go in the 21. 22 or 25. You don't want to harvest anymore. Okay. Don't cut a tree down? VRF, don't cut a big tree down. Okay, no more harvesting. Okay, is there a different um, contract that could keep two people busy. Fertilizing is just a one person contract. Unless, uh, you want me to pick up a fertilizing one. 
Or well, unless Fritz wants to do the harvesting and uh, Kenworth can drive the tractor and trailer. Up to you guys. Okay, so you filled up two and a half trailers on the train to empty that silo. Yeah. Well, cool. Oh, Kenworth says he's getting off soon. So, Fritz, what would you like to do? Hey Kenworth, thanks a lot for joining. Really appreciate it. It was, it was a lot of fun having this many people on here. Okay, so you wanna continue doing what you're doing, okay? I will park this plow over here for now. Farmer Joe has got enough, or I've plowed a lot of our fields right now, so we'll just leave that there as is. And I will jump in the combine. Okay. Go 21, 22, or 25. 21, 22, 25. Where are these fields? 21 and 22 are down here. 25 is a little one over here. So. Um, My mic is messed up. What's wrong with my mic? I might have hit it. So I'll just accept this contract, field 22. Let's see if we can do it right for once. D is the mic fixed? Ah, so yeah, I think I hit it with my hand. Let's see if we can do a contract right and not deliver it to the wrong spot. Steal from a farmer. I'd like to be a legitimate. I can't reclaim myself. I've lost my reputation. It's farmer Joe seeding grass. That's VRF seeding grass. See, I can't see names. Uh-oh. Can I get this header through here? It is me, VRF. Oh, why did I do that in the Mario sound? In the Mario voice. It is me, Mario. You can look inside the cab. <laughs> look at the color of shirt. It is me, VRF. <laughs> yeah, Jess wears different color clothes all the time. Um, we're headed field 21 or 22, I can't remember which one. Shortcut! Farmers take shortcuts in real life. See, I like this farm so much better than the first map the way we ran it. Having everybody on their own farm, we weren't interacting with each other. We weren't working together. We weren't harvesting and running a trailer side by side. 
now running two farms, we can work together. I, I like this better. Um, running multiple friends, I think would work really well in farms. Running multiple friends. <laughs> You're on my list of friends. I control, you know, everybody's got their own. Very political, huh? So, running multiple farms I think would work well, not on a stream, just among like friends and competing against each other type of thing. But. <laughs> Communism, yes. I ch you are not people, you are just numbers. You are friend number one, friend number two. What is your number? <laughs> Oh, where am I going? Let's take a look. I'm going field 22. Field 22. Oh, what crop is field 22? Barley, perfect. That's exactly what's in the combine right now. <laughs> no! I'm not a number, I'm Fritz! Till 22? Yeah. Yeah, I guess if you're gonna stay in the train and not leave the train, I wouldn't be able to use the train. I would not be, if you put sugar beets in some of the cars, I would not be able to use those cars maybe. Actually, do that. Let's do another test. Once you've got sugar beets in your car, once you have something in the train, I don't know if you have anything you can load right now. Okay, one, what am I doing? I'm lining up to the wrong field, I believe. I am, yep. So as soon as you got sugar beets in the train, I'll go try to jump into that train and see. Uh oh, what are you making fun of me? No. There, I'm gonna put my pipe out. VRF enjoys it when I put my pipe out. got stuff in the train? Okay. Let's test this. Huh? James Bond car tractor. Fritz. Oh, you did a jump with the tractor. Okay. You that that roadway there. Got it. Um. It says it's full of beets. I've got beets in there. I have your beets. You filled it up. So could I just sell these beats and make the money for me? And then ruin your contract. And ruin your contract. I don't think you should do that. Let's try that on a small field sometime. No. Not on a big contract that's like almost done. But I have a feeling I could steal your beats from you. If you put it in the train, somebody else jumps in it, that is now their stuff. Yes, I could steal from another innocent farmer. 
I, I have a feeling the game might let you do that. Because it's showing up that I've got beats in the train with me on here, so. Interesting. <laughs> Jess is Jess is like, you shouldn't do that. I'm like, let's try. <laughs> yes, that is how this works. <laughs> that seems like a bad idea. Okay, let's go try it. Oh, Fritz is in the combine, I think. Somebody's in the combine. Kenworth is still in the chat. Or in the YouTube chat. Yeah, I need to buy a pressure washer too. I thought we had more money than that. I did have more money than that. What happened to our money? Look what happened to my money. I had more money. I had over 20. Unless... Farmer Joe mentioned it. Unless uh, Fritz and VRF were you, or not VR, Fritz and Kenworth, did you guys fuel up any of the vehicles? But why is the rum gone? A little uh, Captain Sparrow there. I'm like, the only thing I can think of is if uh, Fritz or Kenworth got fueled. Kenworth says no. Fritz might have fueled up this tractor. I'm not sure where else the money would have gone. Uh, yeah, but VRF is filling up his tractor on Farmer Joe's farm. So hang on. Hang on. I, I have an idea what happened. You know how I thought I was stealing from the farms? When I fail the contract, all that money disappears and it does not let me steal from the innocent farmer. So um, basically I stole from the f innocent farmer, the innocent farmer took me to court, sued me, and I had to pay the farmer back. I believe that's what has happened. I, that's the only explanation for the disappearing money. I have a feeling the farmer sued me. That That's the only way, because that's about how much money we made. So, I have a feeling cheating the contract gets, gets you... There's no advantage. If that's happened, I, if that's what happened, I'm quite happy with that. That that keeps us from cheating, right? That's sorry, Fritz. Parked a little too close. You know what? Fritz is running the combine. I know you said you want to run the tractor, but if you want to run the tractor, just let me know and I'll switch. But if you're running the combine right now, I'll just park at the end over here, let you empty it, and run the plow for a little bit, and jump back and forth. But if you don't want a combine, just let me know and I'll, I'll jump in. Completely up to you. Because I'm a contractor for Jess right now, I, I tab through uh, her equipment. How is that possible? How's that possible? The grass field I'm plowing is fertilized. Okay, okay, 
it could be that when you plow in a crop it gets fertilized like oil seed Well, thanks, Fritz. Are we nice and calm? We're a little funny and dorky. I don't know. I think we're all just here to have fun. Um, every now and then we have someone joining that just wants to come here to make trouble. Um, when, when we don't have any troublemakers on stream, it's just VRF crashing into stuff every now and then. Because somebody has to make trouble. <laughs> but it's it's nice when everybody just comes here to and wants to play and not grief. <laughs> Sorry, VRF. No trouble, no fun. No, 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 no. No trouble, lots of fun. Kenworth asked, why has no one converted the 60-foot header to FS19 yet? Because the 60-foot header is incredibly unrealistic. Actually, is there a... St how, wi how wide is the real-life widest header? Because I feel if the real equipment exists, it should, it should exist in game too. I still have to find someone to make, um, what's it called, Big Roy, Big, Big Red, Big Roy. My voice is cracking. Okay, uh, Fritz, I'll be right there and take over the combine. Well, I don't know, Vera, run the tractor. Uh oh, Fritz, watch out! Don't, don't dump the grain. We will lose another contract. And if you reset that trailer, if it's tipped over, we lose all the grain inside of it. Don't lose the contract. We've lost enough contracts as it is. I've had too many lawsuits against me. I don't want another lawsuit. So where do we want to bring this grain this time? Let's make sure I research it. Okay, so harvest the barley on field 22 and take it take the product to harbor. Harbor is right here beside us. Awesome. That's nice. So Fritz, we want to bring it right to the harbor here on the waters. So it's going to be really easy to deliver it. Literally right across the road here. Okay, combine is empty.
So basically those two contracts we did didn't count for anything. It did count something. Not not only did I get sued and got all the money they took back, I lost I lost the fuel and uh, the wear and tear on my machinery. Well, that's good we know now. I, I actually appreciate that the game doesn't allow that to happen. Hear the honking. I would wait for the next stage and then fertilize it. No, but I would seed over that uh, funky road and see if the grass just goes right over top of it and disappears. Oh. VRF, are you just seating right over that funny road section? I think I think you did. Pretend pretend the road's not there and just seat all over it. I think the grass will go through that road and make it the road kind of disappear. It's a little bit of a bug. Yeah, um, <coughs> we found one way of getting rid of the road, <coughs> and the only way we could figure out how to get rid of the road was using the landscaping and raise the ground around it so that it covers up the road. I don't know, Kenworth, if you noticed this combine. It's a Case International combine. But the header is not Case International. The header is, that's too dirty to read it now, but it's a Massey Ferguson header. Combine is still too small, I agree. I forget a bigger combine, but this is much better combine than the little one I was running in our last map. I definitely went with the biggest equipment I could get with the money we had on this map. The cheap Jeep looked at you and ran away. What does that say? And anyone watching Fritz, he's not drunk, it's just leg. He runs me off the road. If you guys decide to raise the ground, I would raise the whole area to make it even, which would be very expensive for landscaping, but if, we'll see if the grass grows through it and makes the road disappear. If it doesn't, you can landscape eventually. It's a little bug, a little map, or a little bug on the map.
And your trailer is full. What is annoying? Oh. Yeah, those roads are objects instead of being part of the landscape. Those funny look, they're, they're objects and because of that you can't plow over them. But if you raise the terrain, take your caterpillar and raise it, you can cover it up. So, I guess that part's not really part of the bug, but the uh, trigger point over there is part of the bug. Oh boy, I have to end the YouTube stream because it is starting to cut off the beginning of this video, which kind of sucks. So I'm going to log off right away. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to keep playing the game. So anyone can join us in game, and uh, we can keep keep playing a little longer. I don't know how much longer because I'm gonna get hungry here, but I'm gonna end it very quick because we are officially cutting off the beginning of the video. Thank you guys for watching.